Welcome to our homestead. We are glad you're here on this beautiful fall day in Texas. If you're trying to grow food for your family and be self-sufficient on your homestead, there is one thing that you really need to get, and that is a greenhouse or polytunnel. This will allow you to continuously grow food for your family through the winter months. And if you live in anywhere in the United States pretty much, except for Florida or South Texas, you're probably going to need one of these. So today we are going to go over the different attributes to these greenhouses or polytunnels in hopes that it helps you to figure out which one is appropriate for your homestead. I'm gonna talk about the different features of our greenhouse and why I think it's important that you have all of them as well. And then I'm going to share a very special offer from the manufacturer of this greenhouse for Black Friday and that sale is gonna be coming up soon. We're gonna talk about it at the end of the video. So don't miss that because they are offering some really cool free goodies that are gonna come along with getting one of these. So let's talk about climate control first, and that is very important no matter what climate you live in. If you live in the north, you are going to need to control that heat more in the wintertime. If you live in the south, like I do, you're gonna to need to control how to cool off the greenhouse more often than the heat. So for us, we're employing four different methods for keeping our greenhouse cool in these hot summers in zone 8B. One of those is the roll-up sides. Those are extremely important to get across ventilation for your plants at the plant level on the bottom. We also have the end wall kits with the doors and we keep those open constantly. So those doors only go up to six foot eight and we have a 10 foot center purlin in our greenhouse. What we are adding, and we don't have it installed yet, is one of these automatic vents. Now these vents work off of beeswax, I believe, inside the cylinder. When it gets to a certain temperature, that beeswax will start to expand and it will open the vent. I just have to take time to cut a hole up there, make a frame, and install the vent. And since we all know heat rises, it will let that really hot air up at the top of the greenhouse out in the middle of summer. And of course, anything like this, I will always leave it linked in the description below the video. Now, as you can also see, we have shade cloth. This is a really important piece to have on your greenhouse if you live in my zone or south of me. So this is a 40% shade cloth and I will take it off for the winter time. So now we're gonna talk about heating a greenhouse and this can be done in several different ways. Let's talk about the first one and that is the effect of the greenhouse itself. Having all your sides rolled down and your doors closed and your vents closed, a greenhouse can actually be 20 to 30 degrees higher temperature than the ambient air temperature outside and sometimes higher. So when you have a greenhouse, at least in my zone, you have to be very careful in the winter time. If we don't monitor it, it can be upwards of 90 plus degrees here in the greenhouse when it's 50 outside. So you have to be very diligent about monitoring your greenhouse temps. We have these little Bluetooth weather stations right here. They sit in here and we can monitor them from the house and it will tell us if I need to come out and open things up in the middle of winter. Nice thing about this one is it's battery life. I've only had to ever change the battery in it one time and it has sat out here for years. I'll list it in the description below for you. Now for those cold and frigid nights, we use this little Mr. Heater propane heater right here. And it does a great job at just keeping the temperature in here above freezing. This is a 20 by 40 greenhouse and this one unit will take care of it with no problem. Another strategy is getting these 55 gallon drums, painting them black and filling them with water. And what will happen during the day is they will absorb heat and at night they'll radiate it out. We had these for our old handmade greenhouse that we did before we bought this one. As you can see, we tried to paint them black. Keep in mind, if you're gonna use this strategy, then you need to find a paint that will stick to this plastic. I didn't. This is just a regular Krylon spray paint, and as you can see, it's worn off pretty good. So if you're gonna do this, find the proper paint for it. So these worked well for us, but if you're in an area that's super, super cold, it may or may not, depending on how many of these you have and how big your greenhouse is. 
So it is important to understand that you do not need to keep your greenhouse at tropical temperatures in the dead of winter in the north, in Michigan or Maine or whatever. All you need to do is to keep it above freezing. And that is for those winter veggies that you are planting. Now, if you are trying to plant summer veggies and trying to keep alive banana trees in your greenhouse in the north, you do need to heat it to those proper temps. But for everyone else who is growing those winter veggies, your coal crops, your root veggies, carrots and beets, your cold crops like broccoli and Brussels sprouts and kale and those things, you don't need to keep it more than about 33 degrees. Even tomatoes don't mind temperatures of around 50 to 55 degrees. So if you are just on a homestead and you're trying to keep some leafy greens available for the winter time and some root crops, there's no need to spend a whole ton of money on heating options to keep it that high of temperature. You can also employ what's called a cold frame. And I'm gonna be building one of those in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that. And it's going to go on these raised beds here in the greenhouse. I'm going to be getting rid of my cover crops, which have put a decent amount of nitrogen in the soil. And then I'm going to be starting some more root crops. And they are going to need a little bit warmer temperature to germinate. And that's why we are going to add those cold frames. Now let's talk about my greenhouse, what we have, and then the amazing sale coming up from Grower Solution. So this is a 20 by 40 Quonset polytunnel. And it has the roll up sides, and it also has the end wall kits and the shade cloth. And I think in total this cost me roughly $3,000. And then each of the doors that I installed were 100 bucks. Now the kit comes with absolutely everything except for the doors, of course, and the wood framing that you need for the bottom. So I've talked about some reasons why it's important to have the roll-up sides, but the end walls I think are important also, simply because it gives the greenhouse some really good rigidity. Now we've had some pretty decent winds out here. We just had a storm blow through last week and the winds were about 25 miles an hour. And we've had several storms like that since we've had this up, no issues at all. Now I think having wind strapping on your greenhouse is very important. And I believe this kit does come with this wind strapping. Now it's important whenever you are buying your greenhouse or polytunnel from wherever you get it, that you look for a proper professional uh, film, greenhouse film. This is more than just plastic. This is UV treated. It is six mils thick. It has a warranty on it even, and it should last upwards of five to six years. I can't stress enough that you don't want to go to the big box store and just buy a clear painting tarp uh, or a clear painting plastic. That is not going to work. This is totally different stuff. So let's talk about that Black Friday sale from Grower Solution. They are offering free shipping on any greenhouse that's over $2,000. So. Anything subtotaled in your cart for $2,000 is going to get free shipping and it must include a greenhouse. So you can buy a $1,000 greenhouse and then $1,000 of other stuff and you are going to get that free shipping. And then we are offering two different free discount codes for this offer. You can pick one or the other. The first one is a four foot by 300 foot roll of ground cover. The same exact stuff that we use in our greenhouse here and in our garden. You can also choose from a master gardener irrigation kit. And I've done videos on both these before. They're linked at the top of the screen. I have the master gardener irrigation kit here in this greenhouse and also in the garden. Now remember, you have to use my link to get either free item. Now you also have to add either free item into your cart and then it will register $0 when you put in our coupon code. So this sale is running from November 7th through December 15th. So you wanna jump on it now. So during the sale, our regular 10% off coupon that we have available here on our channel is not gonna work because you're getting free shipping and a free gift. But after the sale is over, that 10% kicks back in again. 
So if you're looking for a life of self-sufficiency and you do not want to go to that grocery store anymore and you don't want to pay those prices anymore, having food year-round is important. You can preserve a lot, but you also need fresh food and having a greenhouse is key to that. Now, a lot of people can't start off with something this big. They don't have the room. So the company, Grower Solution, has a lot of different sizes of greenhouses. They've got tiny ones for little suburban lots and they've got big ones like this and they have ones three times the size of this. So whatever you need, they're going to have. Now I put this entire greenhouse together with these two hands. The only thing I had help with was pulling the plastic over the top. If you're interested in seeing very technical videos on how I did it, click on this playlist right here. Now have a beautiful blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.